Hi, I'm David Pollander and I work for International Justice Mission Canada here in the Prairies and I'm back after a few weeks just to give some updates on iGEM's work around the world during this time of COVID-19. iGEM are protecting the poor from violence during this pandemic in three ways. First of all, with an immediate response, helping people affected by COVID-19 now. Secondly, a near-term response, and that's continuing to do investigations and rescues. And thirdly, a long-term response, and that's partnering with governments to protect the poor from violence and slavery, business as usual during this time of COVID. Also, at the end of this vlog, I'll be sharing a bit more about Cherished More Precious Than Gold, which took place on Friday. And I'll be introducing you to a Filipino couple, Marafi and Mary. Rafi is an amazing musician, plays about seven or eight instruments, and Mary is a wonderful singer. And they've become good friends and really have a heart for the work of IGM, especially for children who are suffering in cyber sex trafficking in the Philippines. So I'll tell you more about that um, if you hang on to the end. So for an immediate response, that's helping people now affected by COVID-19. I want you to meet Helen Barnabas. Helen is an IGM social worker who shares tips for keeping hygienic and for keeping people safe during this pandemic. Helen is really a hero among many heroes around the world of IGM work staff workers who are sharing some really important information and giving people the basic tools and basic um, strategies to really fight this virus. Let's see a video by Helen. Oh, pa, 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 pa. கடைக்கு போயிட்டு வரதுக்குள்ள இந்த வெயில்ல நம்ம நொந்து நூடுல்ஸ் ஆயிடுவோம் போல ஆமா கை கழுவுனா பாருங்களேன் மறந்தே போயிட்டேன் டிவில சொல்ற மாதிரி ஒரு தடவைக்கு நாலு தடவை சோப்பு போட்டு நல்லா கை கழுவிட்ட பிறகுதான் வீட்டுக்குள்ளேயே போனோம் நீங்க கூடங்க உங்க வீட்டுல மாசமா இருக்கிறவங்க வயசானவங்க குழந்தைங்க சுகர் பிபி யாருக்காவது இருந்தது அப்படின்னா அவங்கள வெளியவே அனுப்பாதீங்க நீங்க வெளியில போயிட்டு வந்தா கூட கைய நல்ல சோப்பு போட்டு கழுவுங்க அப்பதான் கொரோனாவும் வராது எந்த நோயும் வராது கொரோனா நோயோட அறிகுறி என்னன்னு உங்களுக்கு தெரியுமா ரெண்டு நாளைக்கு மேல ஜுரம் சளி மூச்சு விடுறதுல சிரமம் அதிகமான இருமல் இருக்கு அப்படின்னா உடனே அரசாங்க ஆஸ்பத்திரிக்கு போங்க சிகிச்சை எடுத்துக்கோங்க பத்திரமா இருங்க பாதுகாப்பா இருங்க நன்றி this video and others like it have been shared by IGM workers in the field during COVID-19 with the survivors over WhatsApp. These simple messages of hygiene have been for some a lifesaver as basic information is not always available. Well, secondly, it's a near-term response and for that we're continuing to do rescues and put on rescue operations. And we're going to the Philippines again because on November the 16th, three children are now safe and free because they were rescued by, by the Philippine authorities from cyber sex trafficking. These three girls are 12, 9 and 8 years old and now are safe and receiving dedicated care, which is much needed for them to restore and heal them from the trauma that they have suffered. Authorities also arrested a 46-year-old woman who was offering the live stream of sexual abuse of her three daughters in exchange for money. Because the Philippine authorities and their relentlessness, because of that, these three girls will live in freedom and safe from harm. And thirdly, for a long-term response, partnering with governments to protect the poor from violence and slavery. In Santo Domingo, Dominica Republic, on the 16th of November, which happened to be World Children's Day, IGM were applauding the critical, critical steps that the new Dominican president, Luis Abinada, and the House of Representatives have taken to protect children. They assured us that his government will have zero tolerance for child marriage and early unions. He also presented a series of action steps to eradicate the laws that allow girls and boys under 18 to marry. IGEM especially commends the creation of a cabinet for children and adolescents. According to a 2019 UNICEF report, one in four women in Latin America and the Caribbean were married to married or entered into early union before turning 18 years old. Dominican Republic has the highest rates of child marriage in the region, with 36% of young women marrying before their 18th birthday. However, in spite of these steps forward, there is still more to be, do more to be done. IGEM continues to urge the Dominican Supreme Court to declare child marriage unconstitutional. 
Currently, the law does not hold accountable those who sexually abuse children or adolescents if they later go on to marry them. Sonia Hernandez, Associate Director of Public Justice System Strengthening for IGEM explains, it is not enough if only Congress approves the elimination of child marriage. The court must legislate to ensure this critically changes sustainability over time. Last Friday evening, we held our Canada-wide online event, Cherished More Precious Than Gold. And I'd like to thank supporters and friends for joining us in this memorable evening. Linda Yang, lawyer and IGM fellow in Cebu, and Dr. Namia, our Philippines Director of Aftercare, shared their powerful stories of helping cyber sex trafficking survivors in their walk towards restoration. Anu George Kanjanathopil, the IGM Canada's Executive Director, gave a powerful and inspiring call to action. And we were very grateful to Marie Gomez from City News Winnipeg, who co-hosted the event with myself and really used her platform as a TV um, reporter to advocate for children suffering this terrible crime. We also had a surprise performance by Juno award-winning artist Dean Brody, who debuted a beautiful song, and we got to eat dried man mangoes from an IGM box that we all received. I hope Cherished More Precious Than Gold better equipped you to understand the horrific crime of cyber sex trafficking and also empowered you to help raise your voice uh, for those children who don't have a voice and who don't get to say no. Well, on the night we raised a staggering $70,000 and money is still coming in actually because people paid by cheques, so that's not the final total. But we just want to thank you for playing your part in just making it such a special night. And actually, if you still want to give towards uh, rescuing and restoring the lives of children who have been cyber sex trafficked, then you can do that on on our website www.igm.ca and just go to the donate button and assign it uh, there when you fill out the details to Cherished. But we don't want to stop there. IGM Canada continues to support this region and raise awareness about cyber sex trafficking and especially how demand from this crime comes from our own country of Canada. We must take interest and speak out against Canadian perpetrators who roam the internet undetected looking to abuse children. We have a band of influential people beginning to speak out against this crime. Like Filipino musician Rafi Swapwan and his wife Mary. They've become good friends of mine. And if you tune into their popular show on a Saturday on Facebook, they have a request show. And from 8pm, you can hear them singing and highlighting this issue of supporting IGM Canada as we seek to tackle cyber sex trafficking of children. And we partner with them. Thank you all IGM supporters, donors and friends for walking with us to protect the poor from violence and especially during this time of COVID-19. Have a wonderful Advent season and thank you. Keep safe and I'll see you in a few weeks time. God bless. Bye bye.